Welcome to the IVEX Method Podcast. This is Steve Bate alongside Adam Feltz. And today we have Vince Shirey again. We had a few issues with our Instagram Live today. Um, don't know if it was the website or the servers or something, but it was not working. So we decided to hop here on Zoom and we'll post this episode as live, live as quick as we can at the end of this. Cool. And uh, we'll get rolling. I appreciate, I appreciate your adaptability. I appreciate your adaptability. I appreciate your flexibility. Yeah flexibility and understanding so um yeah so as with everybody we're all currently on self-quarantine for the most part um what have you been doing lately vince to kind of keep your normal life kind of in check sure yeah that's a good question you know not too much has changed for the shiries uh we still <clears throat> excuse me we still work out religiously if you want to use that term we go for runs just about every day we work out in the garage we work out in the basement uh the only thing that's really changed for us as far as that goes is we're not physically going to the gym we're just doing our workouts at home but we're staying consistent and consistency is key throughout all of this you know making sure you're taking the right supplements you need your vitamin d your vitamin c your omega-3s your uh, zinc that sort of thing uh, and of course, you know, just reading. I love reading uh, first thing in the morning, whether that's the Bible, which is the greatest success book ever written, or some other book that you're into. I think it's important to get your mind right, as well as your health and your supplements and do all that good stuff. So we still eat together as a family as much as we can. We don't do it daily, but we try to do it a few times a week. Um, and life is just as as is. I mean, we're just enjoying it. We're making lemons out of lemonade, if you want to call it that. And uh, the showers are very healthy still. So God is good. Well, it's great to hear, man. I'm glad the family's doing healthy still. You guys are keeping, keeping fit and active. That's great. Yep. Love the idea of reading on this time off, doing the best you can to improve your mind as well as your body. I, that's what I started doing again, because I have to basically force myself to start reading because I am a terrible reader. I read so slow. So I always get frustrated. I'm like, I'm not reading for a while. So I was like, you know what? Well, take the time during this to kind of build some momentum back. So yeah, definitely, definitely love that idea. So you, um, uh, tell yourself that you're a great reader. Oh yeah. Yeah. I need, I need to work on that. I'm going to be honest. I get so angry at myself. Yeah. <laughs> but well, I, can, I can admit that's my flaw. My wife used to um, claim that she wasn't a good reader and she quit saying that. And she's read more books this year than I probably have. Uh, and she used to say that she was a bad reader, a terrible reader and say those things. And now, she just reads and enjoys it and uh, she's kind of changed the words coming out of her mouth. I'm not, this isn't me talking about to you directly. I'm just saying. Oh, no, 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 uh, that's taken. And I'm not, you were probably just saying that tongue in cheek, but um, just the words we say are so, so vitally important. And, and she switched to saying that and now she's a great reader and she loves reading. So it could change just like that by the, by her speech. So I don't know, just food for thought. No, that's great. I, I love that. I'll take, I'll, the thing I've I've loved about this um, podcast, I think we've kind of like branched out more into like general like life help too, like especially during this time. It's not just all 100% fitness. It's been like fitness and my fitness, mind and body. So I kind of yeah. definitely love any any of that we could take away from it. But um, 100% life and I, death are the power of our tongues. Yeah, Adam's been um, <laughs> promoting you the last few weeks, um, saying you have a free program right now that's out there to kind of help. People yeah. who are looking to stay fit during this um, sadly terrible time. And before I let you talk, Vince, I, I did post the results from your program so people know that it's not yeah. just fluff. So um, okay. I'll put that out there on Instagram for you. But yeah, if you want to talk about what you got going on in that regard to help other people through this time. Sure. Yeah, right now I have a free at-home workout that's available. If you go to skinnywithvinny.com, there's a couple of choices you can choose from. You go through the prompts and choose the at-home workout. Uh, when it asks you for credit card information, you can bypass that if you put in code at home. That makes that program free for you. It's 30 days in length. There are some bonuses in that that might make it a little longer than 30 days. I don't want to give that all away, but it's at least 30 days. Uh, and what's going to happen is, is you'll get uh, information dripped out from the account on a daily basis. So three workouts a week. There's spiritual equipping things inside of there. If you have questions for me, feel free to ask me that. But it is kind of an intense workout. I mean, if you're looking to do, you know, a couple push-ups and sit-ups, this probably isn't for you. Uh, if you're looking to, you know, 
even have some gains during this hard time on a on an at home workout. I think you could see that with this type of program because it is uh, it's Tabata. A lot of it's Tabata timed. If you don't know what Tabata is, it's just kind of interval training, if you will. Uh, but it's pretty intense. They they are quick. So if you have just even a half an hour, which if you don't have a half an hour, really work on your schedule. You should right now definitely have a half an hour to work out at home. Uh, but you can get through it in, in 30 minutes, which is which is pretty good. So I'd recommend you sign up. Uh, again, it's free. And if you love the coaching, there's other coaching options on there. And I'd love to work one on one with anyone who's watching this. If you're into, you know, intensity and and uh, great results like Adam had. I mean, Adam competed in a show within three months, which really is kind of unheard of to go from, you know, his condition. Three months later, he's doing a show, and that's a that's a testament not just to the program, but to Adam for having the um, just the consistency to get through that and the discipline. Because I'd say like 1% of people do a show and that maybe your goal is not to do a show, which is fine, but even to be in great shape, because I think as we age and get older, we definitely need to be watching uh, our, our physiques, our health, or just everything, because I think um, health is just so vitally important. You want to be there for your kids, your grandkids, and I'll quit talking now, but uh, the at home is awesome to get you started. <laughs> I could talk all night about this stuff. No, that's great. Like all the information you give, to our listeners is the better because that way you're you're helping people you're providing a service to them for free right now and mm -hmm. hopefully through all this they see how amazing your program is and they want to continue it that would be great for sure and i think that's really um noble of you to do this at a time like this because yeah, there's, there's a lot of good price programs out there but you can't beat free <laughs> yeah you, can't. you got you got you got nothing to lose for signing yeah. up and just going after it and I don't care what program you're on, you're going to get great results as long as you're consistent with it. I like and, that. Yeah. Yeah, I, and like between that and I've seen the results of what your programs can do for somebody. I haven't done it personally, but Adam has, and clearly the results have shown physically and mentally for him too, obviously. Good. Yeah. And you brought up a good point. I mean, you can get results on just about anything. You could do keto or, or, south beach or whatever the the fad diets are right now but really too in addition to that you're not only getting the program but you're getting um someone who in a coach and i say that with me is i don't have a thousand people or 500 people that i'm dealing with i i keep it small on purpose because i want to deal directly with my clients and i want to be kind of into what they're doing and have kind of a pulse on their where they're going and what their goals are um so, I mean, it depends on what you're looking for. If you want some intense accountability, which some of my clients re-sign up because they want that accountability, then it is for you. If you want to be able to just kind of kind of halfway do it and not get your money's worth and do a different program that's um, less expensive and or free. Um, but when you want the accountability, I'm here whenever you're ready. Yeah. And honestly, I, I think that's a great way for pay, maybe people to get started. Like, all right, I need to get started with something. I'm going to jump in this free one if I like it. I yep. think that's a great time to transition to a possible paid program. I know that's what I've done recently. Um, I've had a, just a couple different things. I'm like, you know what, if I pay for something, even just a little bit, it's going to motivate me to actually want to do things and get it done. And yep. um, more recently, like I, I stopped kind of caring about like size and looking cut and stuff. And I was like, you know what, I miss doing athletic stuff. So I went with someone who is very athletic based and like, vertical Good. jumping sprinting and i'm like you know what at least i'll feel better that way because my esophagus with all this stuff going on and yep. the lack of like trips to the grocery store i'm like you know what i'm just going to focus on maintaining rather than gaining and doing what i need to do so consistency 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 like control the factors that you can and yep. follow that why like we always talk about yep it's good that's all good advice. I mean, you're on the right path for sure. I like that you've chosen someone who's lining up with what your current goals are too, because that's important. Uh, mindset, uh, being around like-minded people, it's, it's it's all relative. So good job on that for sure. All right. And I like to cherry pick a little bit here and there because I, I, I pick Adam's brain sometimes and so, with some of you guys, like a little bit of the small things you guys are doing and I implement things here and there. Yeah. And I'm like, I, I feel like as a trainer myself and someone who's like to compete in a bunch of different like areas. I'm like, you know what, just go sticking with one person for me kind of gets boring after a while. So after a few months, I'll probably switch to something else and build programs based off of for myself, based off of what I've learned. And I, 
I just yeah. think it's more exciting that way personally. Yeah. Understood. That's, I think it's just relative probably to personality types too. Some people just love variety and I could eat chicken and broccoli and put some salt on it every single day and never get bored. So it's, I'm just a weirdo like that. So oh, yeah, I, I definitely have the athletic ADD. I always have to do something different, keep moving, trying something different. Yeah. Yeah, I can admit that I might not get the best results long-term out of it, but I'm learning more. And that's, that's what I enjoy. I learned the process. I enjoy the process rather than the yeah. end result sometimes, honestly. And that's fair. It's at least, you know, that about yourself too, which is good. I think one of the things too, in, the, in a time like this, that, people need to remember is really simplicity is is kind of key to um it's really simple i mean sometimes i think we can complicate things even myself with the, some of the programs that i do i can make them complicated but it's really quite simple i mean if you think about it if we drink water uh, maybe had some coffee from time to time and just ate real foods like vegetables and like fruit and like chicken and didn't add in all this additives and and words we can't even pronounce, I think we would all be relatively fit because I don't think you're going to get fat eating too much oatmeal. It's just, <laughs> it's just probably not going to happen. So just keeping it simple too, it could, could be good advice for people. You know, what diet are you on? Keep it simple, eat real foods. I mean, a lot of people try to do the whole 30 and I think they have good results because it's just whole food, um, no additives. So keeping it simple at a time like this is real key too. I mean, my workouts in the garage aren't really overly complicated we're thinking of a couple movements for the chest the shoulders the biceps triceps in the back uh, and, and as far as legs go we're running and we incorporate some hill runs and or some uh, air squats and one-legged squats but other than that program is pretty simple right now just because um, we're living in a time where it's just difficult to get more complex because we don't have the equipment to do that anyway so keep it simple everybody simple 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 Speaking of equipment, is there any equipment required to do this free program or is there any equipment that would benefit or improve yeah. the quality of these workouts? I do use, utilize the Bowflex dumbbells throughout the program. Uh, you don't have to have those, obviously. Um, I do do pull-ups. So I have a pull-up bar that kind of goes into the, I can't, I don't know how to explain it, but it kind of goes up into the door jam, if you will, uh, which is easy to use. And you can buy one of those at at any sports store, I believe they're not that expensive and uh, bands would help if you have bands, which you can order on Amazon. And I use just kitchen chairs to do dips and things like that. So it's pretty basic stuff. I mean, nothing crazy. I think most people probably have dumbbells. Laying, well, I shouldn't say that most people in the fitness probably have dumbbells laying around in bands at the least. So if you have that, you can get through the program for sure. Sounds great. And or just find your nearest small child. <laughs> right. I'm kidding. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and you you can find if if you don't have bands or dumbbells, you could at least get um some for like super cheap either on buy sell trade. I mean, be careful doing buy sell trade right now because of social distance and everything. But between that and Amazon, I know I got a pack of bands on Amazon for like I think fifteen between fifteen yeah. and twenty dollars on 20 sale. Bucks. Yeah. And yeah. got a full pack. I got two packs of them and. They, they've been one, some of the greatest things I've, I've bought for myself so far. I mean, in, in even keeping it simple, if you don't have bands or anything, I mean, just varied push-ups. I mean, feet on the floor, feet on the couch, hands on the couch, so you get all the different angles for the chest. Um, and you're hitting your shoulders and triceps doing that stuff anyway, if you do a ton of them. And then pull-ups, we did. No, and I did a challenge the other, last week. We did, um, we started at two, so it was, you did pull-ups and then chin-ups, and it was two, four, six, eight, ten, ten, eight, six, four, two. I think I said all that right, but that was difficult. It sounds probably easy, but on the way back down, the eight, six, four were very, very challenging um, on both sides, both the chin-up and the pull-up. So just try that, see if you like it. It was pretty, pretty intense, and goes. I think you end up doing ninety-two or ninety-six reps total when you do it that way. So it's it's a good workout. It's awesome, man. Sounds like you got a lot of value added to what you guys are doing right now, and it's exciting. Definitely love the passion when you come on. We have to have you on more often, man. I'm serious. Yeah, I love it. I'm talking about it. Noah's, in fact, Noah's my oldest. Is he's about? He could probably do a show right now. He makes me look fat right now. So so does Adam. So I feel out of shape with these guys. <laughs> well, it's uh, I'm I'm still doing your program, so it's all because of you. I appreciate yeah. it.
Appreciate it. And I, I'm not going to tell you what it is. I don't, I don't have the uh, – no, you're welcome. Thank you. I, I don't have the uh, – I would say I, don't, I can't go to our gym here, so – and I have dumbbells and stuff, but um, – and time. You mentioned time, but I, I try, try to just do everything body weight. Yep. Like, you mentioned dumbbells. And stuff. There's days where, like, I'm recovering from a so shoulder injury, so some days I don't even use a weight. I just kind of simulate the movement. And, you know, if you do it right, you get enough – you know, work it out of that just by simulation. Sure. So, um, 100%. I don't know. But yeah, just keep at it, man. No, it's good, and that's good. the thing we, just, yeah. But to that, to that, we, you know, we want to encourage other people. Is you know, like if you aren't on something, um, start something. I think you and I think Hybrid Barbell are probably our greatest resources right now when it comes to this fitness and uh, anything we could do to promote what you all are doing and the fact that it's very cost efficient because of the times that we're in people need that right now yeah. um and i love it too i almost want to do like a call to action like hey if you really are serious about improving your health like get on the skinny video with, skinny with any program do the 30-day challenge prove to yourself that you can do it uh and improve your to prove to vince that uh you have what it takes to move on to that next level you know what i mean and uh, that'd, right. be, that'd be my call to action for you i appreciate that so. i think um I don't know where this is going to go in the future uh, as far as Skinny with Vinny goes. I think um, I think it is going to get notched up, Adam. You were mentioning that stuff. I think it's going to be uh, not only fitness uh, coaching, but just, just life in general. I don't want to say life coach because I don't like that term. But just, you know, I really want to yeah, work I don't, with I don't men. like it either. Yeah. I want to work with men who, you know, want to – be amazing husbands to their wives amazing amazing fathers to the kids be in shape because um let's be honest when you when you are physically fit and in shape just everything else in your life just feels better i mean i don't know not everyone would understand that but i mean i think when you're in good shape husband and wife things are a little bit better uh in the bedroom because you just feel better about yourself and i don't, I don't know if this is going off in a direction you don't want to go in this program but bottom line is when you feel good at things just everything's better you're healthier you got more energy um than you would if you're not i mean it's just some things when you're overweight don't work as they should either i mean that's a side effect of of bad health so i mean but i think mentally is a big key and um consistency is a big key um and just i don't know where i'm gonna figure this out and see where, where this goes but um we're gonna start a, some some sort of manly movement we'll just figure out what it's gonna be i'm not sure yet it's exciting man okay, uh, count me in yeah that sounds yeah. great man. yeah awesome anything else that you got adam today for him no i mean i could talk about you know um I don't know, you talked about moving from the bedroom, but like this practical application outside of that. It's like when I was going through my treatments and stuff, my doctor was like, hey, don't work out, don't do this. My body started deteriorating. Like, yeah, I still have my mind, but after a while, after months and years of just being beat down every single day, it starts yeah. taking its toll on you, you know, and then it starts taking its toll on your family and stuff. And um, I don't know, just that decision to move. Yep. And that one time, just that one decision to move completely changed the director, trajectory of my my marriage, my future, our future, uh, the outcome Good. for our kids. So I, I agree a hundred percent with that. Yeah. Like it's, it's, it's more than just the, what goes on in the bedroom. That's the added bonus. But, uh, um, <laughs> I don't know why I went in that direction. It's true. I, I apologize if it's, it's, it's just, right. it is. I mean, I, I think it's a topic that, um, maybe doesn't get talked about as much because people are awkward about it. But I mean, when that's good, everything is good. It just, it's just the way it is. I mean, probably cause I'm coming off of a conference here about a month ago called hot marriage secrets. And uh, it was very, <laughs> very impactful for our marriage. I'll put it that way. It was, a, it was a great weekend. We learned a lot. I learned a lot and um, it's called hot marriage secrets for a reason. Um, and it was just that, uh, but it was very challenging for the men and the women uh, in their defined roles within a marriage and their, their, those God given roles. And that doesn't mean that as a husband, I lord over the ruling over my wife cause she's co-heir. Um, and I could go off on another tangent on that as far as that goes, but, um, it was good. It was a good conference. Um, and then maybe that's why that's on my mind. So I apologize if that was, if that was out of my field. No, it's totally This fine. whole, I, I this think, whole think... episode is nothing but smut. <laughs> and <laughs> I'm, kidding. I'm just kidding. That was good. Uh, but... 
Yeah, and I think I think the biggest takeaway is just you in this time specifically, you have to build your mind, you have to build your body, keep moving, you're gonna feel better, the people around you are gonna start feeling better, and it's just gonna it's gonna it's yeah. gonna it's gonna be a ripple effect from yep. there, And to right? be honest, and you, you say program, thirty day program, it's free. Yep. Yeah, and I was gonna say to be honest, like some, somebody hearing that might actually that might kick them into gear be like, hey, that's something that's missing right now. So yeah. it honestly is a good thing to mention. Yeah. It's not like you got like X rated on or anything. <laughs> just being straight up with it. I like, I like it. It's honest. It's true. And, yeah. and moving is important. You guys keep bringing up moving. Um, I'll put it to you this way. I, I work an early shift. So when I come home at two, two thirty, you know, if I don't get out and get moving and go for a run or do something by four or five, I'm feeling pretty tired. I want to take a nap, but you know, when you move, when you get active, it kind of reengages everything. You get the endorphins rolling, um, and you feel like you got a second win. That's how I'm in the gym is because the guys come home and watch Netflix or get on the TV and watch whatever they watch. I mean, you're you're pretty much down for the count because you're going to get tired pretty quick because you're not moving. So um, just utilize that to do that. That half hour workout at home will change the trajectory of your evening because you're moving and it's a big deal and it will help for sure. I mean, it's not debatable. I hear so many people say, I didn't feel like going to the gym today or working out, and then they work out, and then they're glad, always glad that they did. That's just the way it is for some reason. Yep. Oh, I got nothing else. I appreciate your time, Vince. That's all good yeah. stuff. Awesome. Thanks, cool, Vince. Cool. Thank you for listening to the IBEX Podcast. Me. And uh, check out skinnywithvinny.com. Use code at home for three workouts per week for some nice, yeah. intense workouts. Awesome. Thanks, guys. I appreciate your time. Thanks, Vince.